independents coming to this parliament now in such numbers has been probably the biggest shake-up that the parliament's seen, I would argue, since Federation. There was a lot of scaremongering about more independence will bring only chaos, but I think we've proven that absolutely wrong because we work constructively, we work collaboratively, and we bring positive energy into the parliament. We're not dragged down by ideology. We're, we're lifted up by trying to find solutions to the major challenges we have. It's a position of great power because we are not beholden to anyone and we can speak our truth and the truth of our communities without fear or favour. And when you put a range of independents in the chamber, it pushes the government of the day to be better. If you have a bunch of people pushing them, dragging them, cajoling them, convincing them, stacking up evidence in front of them, encouraging them to make better policy and to actually prosecute that vision to the Australian people. I think that's a very effective mechanism for better government. Because the crossbench has the balance of power in, in the Senate, whenever the opposition poses something, which is a lot, then you, you really do have leverage to get good outcomes and that takes a lot of work. It's clear independents are bringing the level of scrutiny necessary for good governance. The list is long of amendments that have been passed as a result of members of the crossbench and independents to legislation. I feel like we have a whole lot more impact than a, a backbencher or a member of the opposition who are really just there to say no. We have the opportunity to improve legislation, take an evidence-based approach and, and work rationally. And I think there's a great appetite for that and it's a really exciting development in Australian democracy. I don't think that our democracy has ever been in greater need of ordinary Australians stepping into their democratic power. I believe one of the most important changes that could take place in our democracy here in Australia is for every community to take back their vote. Every single community should have the right to be heard equally. Every single community should accept the responsibility that it bears to shape the future of our nation. Now, I wouldn't be here if the community hadn't stood up and said, we want change, we want difference, and we want a different type of politics in our community. You don't have to do it alone. That's the great thing about people-powered politics. One person can't drive a movement, one person can lead others to coming together and create a movement. The landmass of Durack is between the 18th and 19th largest countries in the world. It's extraordinarily diverse. We're more about taking the pulse of democracy in our region and trying to enhance it, but it is going to mean that uh, people in Durack have a forum they can talk to because distance is so difficult for people and information's just key. We're a statewide group and we're looking to establish individual voices groups within each of the five elections. Tasmanian politics really needs, needs a shake up and it's definitely right for independence. We don't have to tear down the whole system. You know, it's quite within the capability of our current democracy to make the changes that give a great priority to the community. And, and it's got to be independence. The federal electorate of one, and it's bigger than Belgium apparently, it was made marginal at the last election, which was very exciting. Started off small and built as community groups do, and now we've got 100 paid up members and another 250 on our supporters list and another mailing list of about 300. Really about just making sure that the people's voices can be heard and people can get involved in our democracy. 2022 election showed that we almost got there. We turned one of the biggest margins for a Liberal candidate to a marginal seat, so we're within four and a half percent. Working out how we can support Nicolette and her team, taking that next step of going to almost there to actually getting Nicolette a seat in government. We need to move away from the pasty white old guy and move towards better representation of women within our parliament, get some more younger people in there. I think we need people with a bit more life experience we're having a lot of fun doing this. We had 250 conversations, 49 tables. So we're looking for that person who represents those values from the kitchen table conversation. And it's, it's really exciting because who doesn't want a, an awesome quality candidate that's going to lead us, you know, forward. Politics is no longer this, you know, angry thing and divisive thing. We're actually coming together and feeling sort of like we're going to have a brighter future together. 
So we're pretty new, but we've, we've barreled along. There's five of us, the sixth person about to join in the core group. We've conducted about seven or eight kitchen table conversations, taken a few surveys. I've still had some pretty down moments during this thinking, oh my God, what am I doing here? This is so big. But knowing that though all those people are out there doing it too makes you realise, yeah, of course you can do it. Other people do it, you can do it. covering big distances here in the Northern Territory. We've been meeting for almost three years now. We're really happy with around 250 participants with our kitchen table conversations. This entire movement is one of the few things that brings me great hope. There's so many activated communities across Australia. It's so important to continue what we're doing across Australia, the Community Independence Project generally. The independent movement is strong, it's vibrant, it's optimistic, it's smart, it's courageous and I think Australians want to see more of it. I think that we will see more independence in the next parliament. Communities uh, need to understand that this is a grassroots movement. You won't find a, a candidate if you don't go looking for one. You really have to be in it for the long haul. You win the minute you decide to stand up. It's not about winning the election. To turn up and express that desire to see our democracy be healthier sends the most important message you could possibly send. There is no downside. There can only be an upside. You will either hold accountable and put greater scrutiny on your existing member because they will fight for their job or you will get up an alternative that will generally reflect your voice. In many of the electorates which are now represented by independents, it's taken one or more tries before someone's actually got up. So even if you don't think that you can succeed at the next federal election, it's worth getting together now and starting that process. Have lots of conversations, work out what the issues are that your community cares about. You've got what it takes and it can be done. A strong democracy depends upon the participation of its people, so we absolutely need people to be involved. Your superpower is listening. It is what motivates people. It's at the centre of our democracy, so if you can truly listen and genuinely represent people, then, then people will jump on board. Community get a better deal but also the country gets a better deal because the parliament better reflects the needs and concerns of the country you know so independence can make a huge impact just by standing and so i think it's a wonderful thing if communities support this independence winning is only possible with people power i think we're heading towards a minority government with more and more australians saying hang on i want someone who's in there to represent me to make decisions that make sense and are dealing with the root cause of these problems. It, 2022 was a landmark occasion. We pushed, we dented, but if we fundamentally want to change, if we fundamentally want to improve the health of our democracy, if we fundamentally want to ensure that every Australian has a role to play in the future of our nation, we have to continue. This is something that has the most exciting impacts in the next 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm.